Maybe you're someone who's been using Logic Pro 10 and Machine separately for years. Maybe you're about to get the new Machine Plus and you wanna figure out how to integrate it within Logic Pro 10. But maybe you're confused about how to actually do it and what's the best and most efficient way to integrate both Logic Pro 10 and Machine together. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed crash follower, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Machine inside of Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Productions. First of all, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos that break down my beat making and songwriting process. I get tutorials on Logic Pro 10. I do product reviews and I give advice to independent artists and producers all around the world. So if that style of content interests you, I would like you to do me a really quick favor. Go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload more videos like this and you'll help other people who have similar interests as you see more videos like this. All right, now that we got all the YouTube algorithm stuff out the way, let's get into the video. So it's actually really easy to use machine inside of Logic Pro 10. There are multiple ways to use both softwares together. I'm just going to break down the way that I prefer to do it myself. Some people like to start the beats in machine and then they export the files to Logic to either finish the beat or just mix it. The method that I most commonly use and the one that I'm going to teach you how to do today is how to use the machine software as a plugin inside of Logic so you can still trigger all the sounds from the controller itself, quickly browser your sounds and your samples in machine, and pretty much be able to integrate all the sounds that you have inside of your machine as well as your other plugins that you have inside of Logic. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set it up but before you watch this entire video i actually did all the hard work for you i created a template where i already set everything up all you need to do is download it and open it up so if you want to get the template that i'm going to show you how to create in this video right now for free all you need to do is go down and click the first link that's in the description below and then after that all you need to do is open it up make any modifications as necessary and bam you're already good to go i am going to show you how to actually use it so be sure to continue watching this video if you just want to download the template and then just skip to the part where i show you how to actually use it i got the time codes in the description as well but now i'm going to go switch over to the computer open up logic pro 10 and machine and i'll show you how to integrate them both together and it does take a little while which is exactly why i set this up as a template so i don't have to do this every single time so if you're interested in learning how to set this up for yourself feel free to continue watching i am giving this template away for free in the description below so all this work i'm going to show you i already did for you but you also need to know how this works so like i said if you wanted to just see how it works check the description for the time code for when i actually show you how to use it but this part i'm just going to show you how to actually set it up so first open up logic pro 10 create a new software instrument go over here to instrument scroll all the way down to au instrument instruments native machine uh, go to machine 2 if that's what you use or machine 1 if that's what you use and then go to multi output 16x stereo and then it's gonna load and then bam machine will open up in the form of a plugin inside of logic this should look extremely familiar to you as this is pretty much exactly what the machine software looks like except instead of it being full screen it just looks like a plugin and here's where the work comes in so well, actually i'm going ahead of myself a little bit so hit x on your keyboard close that for a second and then go down to this plus sign and just keep clicking it until no more new tracks can be created. So right now there are 16 different multi output tracks. These 16 tracks all represent the 16 pads that are on your machine controller. So make sure this track is selected, hold shift, and then click on this one right here. Right click and then hit create track. So now you'll be able to see each of your machine pads laid out right here. So now go back over here, click on machine button. So it would be cool if all this stuff was already routed towards each track, but it's not. So this is actually what we have to do right now. So go to sound one, click this icon right here, and then make sure the audio is selected. And then over here by destination, instead of going to group, you're going to route each one by the name of the pad. So for example, pad number one will go to external one, same thing for pad two, pad three, and so on and so forth. Also double check that you are routing them to the correct pad. As you see right here, I made that mistake. And then just keep going. All right, so now all the outputs are routed correctly. And now make sure that the final pad is selected hold shift click on sound one go to input go to midi and over here by source click on default go to host and then deselect all the pads again by just hitting shift and clicking on one of them and over here on channel you're doing the same thing you label them by the number so that's one that's two that's three and so on and so forth so basically what you're doing is you're routing each of the machine pads to output into the tracks through logic so that when you load up a sound it'll play through the tracks in logic but you'll still be able to control it through your machine controller all right so now that you have all these channels routed now you can go through and browse through different sounds and load them up onto your machine controller so now i'm going to just browse through and just pick a couple of random sounds so here's a kick drum i'm going to load up a snare and now what you should be seeing is these two tracks right here play as I play them on the machine controller. It 
Same thing should happen on the other pads. Let me load up a couple more sounds just to show you what it should look like. So I just loaded up a hi-hat on pad number three. So this one should be lighting up right now. And then if you do that for the rest of the pads, you should have a pattern going through. All right, cool. So now everything's routed. Let's create a pattern really quick to see what this is going to look and sound like. So in order to actually create a pattern, you're going to record the MIDI data inside of machine first, and then you're going to drag the MIDI data out of the machine plugin into Logic. So it actually doesn't matter if the record button in Logic is pressed. I hit record in Logic just so I can get that count in. So now I'm just going to make a really generic random pattern just to demonstrate. And in order for this to work, make sure that the record button in machine is actually on. So you have to press it on your controller or you press it over here and then you just create a pattern like you normally would i'm going to hit record in logic you're not going to see any midi data pop up over here but you are going to see it pop up in the machine plugin itself so here's just a random pattern Obviously not the best pattern in the world, but just something really quick for demonstration purposes. Make sure that you turn the record and machine off. And let's say this is the full pattern that you want to use for your beat. What I like to do is label the patterns a different name just in case I create like a B section somewhere else. So this could be A section. And then I go over here to this icon right here, click on it, hold it. And then I drag it to this top track right here. And now the MIDI data that's in here just got exported out into Logic. And then after that, I go to pattern on my controller and click on a blink pattern. So I open up a blink pattern in the machine. So that way the machine doesn't continue triggering these sounds. And also I make sure that I turn the quantization off. So now nothing's playing in the machine. This is all playing through Logic. Cool. It's playing the same way as if you recorded it directly in Logic. And you can get rid of these blank MIDI data regions if you want to. And now you can close this out and let's say this is a full beat, you can arrange it the same way you could with any other instrument. So you could repeat it a bunch of times, take the kick out right here. Have the kick come in right here. Take out the hi-hat over here. And so on and so forth. Just arrange it like a normal instrument. Another thing you could do too, if you wanted to work with wave files instead of MIDI data, is you can go over to any of your instruments, click the keyboard button, click this icon right here, click and hold it, drag it out to a new track in Logic, and that'll play out over here as a wave file instead of as MIDI. which you may prefer depending on how you like to work. The way I personally like to work is having it out as MIDI data. So I can still alter it in the arrangement later if I want to, like just taking out random notes here and there or adding another one. And I think I covered everything you need to know, but that's pretty much how you use machine inside of Logic Pro 10. And something else that I should have showed before I actually started loading the sounds up is that obviously this takes a lot of time to do. If every time you wanted to use machine inside of Logic, you had to route all the pads like that. So one way to save yourself time is to click up here and click save as default. I'm not going to do it right now because this will override what my current default is. When you do this, make sure that you don't have any sounds loaded up, but after you route everything, make sure that you hit save as default so that anytime you open up machine, again, Again, everything will already be routed for you. Another cool thing you can do is actually, you can change the color of your group for something else. So that could be your default color. So you go over here. I have mine actually on this blue color, but you can set it to whatever your favorite color is and it'll open up that color automatically by default every time you open up machine. Another way to speed up your workflow is that after you save it as a default in the plugin itself, go up here, go to file, save as template, and then you could name it whatever you want. It could be your machine template. It could be beat making template. It could be whatever. And then you could save it. And then I'll just say machine test. So this won't be a perfect example because I already put some MIDI data in here, but I'll just show you for demonstration purposes. So now for making beats and I already finished the beat and I want to work on a new beat, but I also want to keep using machine. All I'd have to do is go to file new from template close not going to save then i'll click on this machine test hit choose you load it up and now your machine template is actually loaded up it's ready to go and now you can just start making beats right away so like i said i'm actually giving away this template for free in the description below where it already has everything routed up so all you have to do is load up your sounds and make a beat all you need to do is click the first link that's in the description below and then enter in your email and then you'll be able to get this template for free sent directly to your email and now you just learned how to use machine inside of logic pro 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you like me seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also be sure to visit my website, lmrqproductions.com, where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. And now go down in the comment section below and let me know what are some other Logic Pro 10 or machine tutorials that you would like to see. My name is Elmar Key, Elmar Key Productions. God bless.